Welcome to another Python programming tutorial. In this lesson, we'll be exploring another essential data structure in Python, tuples. Tuples are ordered, immutable collections of elements. Let's delve into the fundamentals and discover practical examples of using tuples. In Python, a tuple is an ordered, immutable collection of elements. Elements can be of any data type, and tuples are created using parentheses. Unlike lists, once a tuple is created, its elements cannot be modified. Now, let's see how we can create and work with tuples in Python. First creating a tuple of numbers, containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Creating a tuple of strings, fruits underscore tuple, containing apple, banana, orange. Creating a mixed type tuple, containing one, hello, 3.14. Since tuples are ordered, we can access elements by their index. Print the first underscore element using index 0 like this, print f first underscore element equals fruits underscore tuple at 0 Run the code The first element is printed out. Now that we understand how to create and access tuples, let's explore some practical use cases. Use case 1, storing coordinates of a point. Consider a scenario where you want to store coordinates of a point using a tuple. In the code. Line number 2 storing a point, 3, 7, into a variable point underscore coordinates. Line number 5 assign the tuple to two variables x and y. Python allows you to assign values to multiple variables in one line like this, pretty cool. Of course, still can use index to access element and assign to x and y variables. Line number 6 print coordinate x and y. Let's run the code to see output. Output, x coordinate is 3, y coordinate is 7. Great. Now, let's move on to another use case. Use case 2, creating constant sets of values. Imagine you want to store information about a constant set of colors. Storing a constant set of colors in a variable primary underscore colors equals, red, green, blue. Accessing elements. First underscore color equals primary underscore colors at zero. Print the first primary color. Let's run the code to see what we get. The first primary color is red. Fantastic! Let's explore one more use case. Use case 3, working with multiple return values. Suppose you want to efficiently return multiple values from a function. First create a function like this returning a tuple of student information. Return name, age, grade. Now we can assign the function to student underscore name, student underscore age and student underscore grade. Print student's name. Student's age students grade run the code we get student name alice age 25 grade a and there you have it an introduction to tuples in python tuples provide a reliable way to store ordered collections of elements that should remain constant they are especially useful in scenarios where immutability is desired 
which means if you do not want elements to be changed, added, or removed, then you can use tuples. Thank you for watching, and happy coding.